Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put your Cardano onto the Ledger Nano S here. Uh, you can do the same thing with the X, but today I'm gonna to show you with the S. Um, so if that sounds good to you, uh, let's hop to it and let's get started. Before we jump into putting Cardano onto the Nano S with the ADA Lite wallet, I did wanna show you guys where to check what uh, crypto assets are supported on the Ledger Nano products. I get a lot of people asking me in the comments, which is fine, um, but one of the main questions I get is, is this coin supported, is that coin supported, is this coin supported? And I just wanna show you guys how right away to uh, get on ledger.com and just go right up here to crypto assets, okay? Right up here, crypto assets, click on that. It's then uh, going to show you, you, scroll to the bottom, uh, it's going to have some other things for buying and staking, but what you want right here, search and asset. All right, so let's do Cardano because that is what we're going to do the video for. Um, and it's going to show you right away here. Um, you cannot buy or swap, but you can send and receive and stake uh, ADA or Card Cardano um, with the Ledger products. But as you can see, it's not supported yet on your Ledger Live. Um, so you have to use the your Rory wallet, I think as you pronounce it, or the ADA Lite wallet. I use ADA Lite because uh, that was the most convenient and easier one to use for me. So I'm going to show you how to use the ADA Lite wallet. Uh, but let's say you know you, you're curious about Doge. Let you know right there, you can buy it, you can send, receive, and it's supported on Ledger Live as well. Let's let's think. Let's, let's check another one. Let's. What about Chainlink? Yep, so you can buy and swap, send, receive, Ledger Live. You can also use my Ether wallet and my crypto. Um, what's another one here? Uh, what, what's a popular one here? Let's, uh, let, let's do Polkadot here. So there you go. Same thing. It's on Ledger Live, but you can also use Polkadot hyphen JS. Um, so really, you can look up, you know, what's another one? VeChain. Uh, you can see here that uh, it is not supported yet on Ledger Live. So VeChain Sync is what you have to use in order to even... Uh, connect it to your ledger product um so it, i'm not going to go into details of what that means but basically you have to use another wallet to hold your crypto uh, assets uh, but it can be connected through your ledger product here um, so anyways i want to show you real quick how to find out what coins are supported now let's hop to it and let's jump into ledger live so once you get into ledger live go ahead and scroll on down here to manager uh, connect your Nano S or X uh, to your computer. It's then gonna tell you to put in your pin and unlock your device. Once you have unlocked it, it's, it's then going to ask you to allow Ledger Manager. Click both buttons at the top to allow it. It's then going to show you what accounts you have on your Ledger product. So in this case here, I have Bitcoin and Ethereum because I've done videos in the past um, of these apps, but Here's what I wanted to show you. I didn't want to remove anything yet before I did ADA because I want to show you how uh, limited of a capacity uh, the Nano S is here. So as you can see, Ethereum takes up 50 kilobytes here and Bitcoin takes up 40 kilobytes. Well, I only have 54 kilobytes free. Well, come down here, look at this. Cardano, 88 kilobytes, kilobytes in order to install. So I don't have enough space to install Cardano. Uh, it also tells me right away, not enough storage. So I wanted to show you guys just how limited the S is. I understand it's cheaper. It doesn't have Bluetooth. I get that aspect, but I wanted to show you, you know, you're very limited in terms of size here. That's one thing people ask about. Well, how many, how many accounts can I put on uh, my Ledger Nano S, well, there's an example. So you can't even put three on in this case if you do Ethereum, Bitcoin, and then you want uh, Cardano. So um, let's do this. I'm going to uh, go to my apps installed. I'm going to take off Bitcoin here. So it's uninstalling Bitcoin. All right, so now that's complete. Let's hop on over here to my app catalog. I can now see that uh, Cardano ADA is available. Let's go ahead and click install. And as you can see, the ADA or Cardano uh, app is installed. And, and I wanna stop right there and let you know something here because everyone asks me about this on my older videos that I did. Uh, Ledger confuses everyone with the term apps. 
It's not apps like on your phone. Uh, it is, think of like folders. So you're creating a folder to hold accounts on your Ledger products. So right now we have an Ethereum app or folder and we have a Cardano app or folder. So think of it as a folder. That's what I tell people. Always think of them as folders. Apps is a very confusing term. I don't know why Ledger did that, but they did. So let's go on over here and look at apps installed. And then you're gonna see, I might've said this earlier in the recording, you know, that there are accounts, but they're apps, okay? Just keep that in mind. Um, and you're gonna see learn more. So I can't actually add an account um, like I have currently on uh, my Ledger Nano S. Uh, I'm gonna have to click on learn more. So once I did that, you're gonna see something here. Um, you're gonna see that it says, oops, this page you were looking for doesn't exist. Uh, that's because the link is broken, um, but I'll show you where to go. So if this happens to you, that's okay. Just go back to ledger.com uh, and I'll show you what to do here. So go back to ledger. All right, so if you're here at ledger.com, go ahead and go up to crypto assets back here when I was telling you at the beginning of the video. Um, go down here and just, you know, Type in Cardano ADA, and you're gonna see the little ADA light section here. Go ahead and click on that. You're then going to see three different options here of how to uh, connect to your ADA wallet, your mnemonic uh, passphrase here, which is the fastest. Recommended is the hardware wallet like we're doing, and then a key file. I've never done the key file. I'm not showing you how to do that. If you are curious, feel free. Uh, but uh, don't hold me to anything that may happen if you do that. Um, but for the sake of this video, let's do the recommended hardware wallet. And I'm gonna show you guys what error messages come up because this is what I ran into as well. It'll help you troubleshoot what's going on if you run into something yourself. So if I just quickly just went to uh, Unlock Ledger, uh, it's then gonna say, hey, uh, the, you can't see it in the recording, but uh, it says adalight.io wants to connect to your device. Click on the Nano S and then click connect. And then it's gonna say air loading wallet. And you're like, what the heck, what's going on? Uh, why won't it connect? Cause it, sound, it looked like it was going to. All right, you do okay. And then like you may, you know, you might go back to the ADA light uh, home screen, come back to continue ADA light, select hardware wallet. You're like, okay, this should work this time. You know, it's all plugged in. I get the air loading wallet again. Well, what's going on there is that you're actually not in your app on your Ledger Nano S4 Cardano, okay? So remember, apps are not actually apps like on your phone, they are folders. Think of them like folders, but you have to have that opened up within your Nano S, if that makes sense. So uh, what I'm gonna do here, so if you got that error message, uh, just go up here uh, and click X on that to get rid of that device or connection, I should, I should say and then do reload just to reload the website. All right, connect, um, and then hardware wallet here. But then before you do unlock with Ledger, go back onto your Nano S and open up that app or folder. And it'll say waiting for commands. Now let's click on unlock with Ledger. Then Nano S and connect, it's the proper steps here, and it's loading your wallet data, okay? I know it's really confusing, but this is how you set it all up and this is how you get it going. You're then going to see on your Nano S, it'll say confirm export of uh, six public keys or eight public keys or 12 or 24, things like that. You're gonna click the right button to accept it. All right, so there we go. So now it shows me the 88 light news, anything that new is coming up and what to be aware of. Uh, close. So now you're inside your wallet. Uh, as of recording, it's the version 6.6.0. Um, you can see how you send. Uh, you put in the sending address. Obviously, if you already have some Cardano on the ADA Lite wallet, the asset will tell you the amount that you want to send with the fee, and then you click send. So basic stuff like that. If you want to receive, this is unique. So go ahead and click on receive. And then from here, you can see within my addresses, so think of them like your accounts within your Nano S. 
You've got a QR code that you can scan or the length of characters that you can use to copy and paste uh, into wherever you're sending from. So let's say you're sending from Coinbase uh, or from some other wallet. Um, this is how you would send it to your ADA wallet. So then I'm gonna hop on over to Coinbase where I have some Cardano. I'm gonna select uh, the transact button and then let's do, uh, let's do send. So then I'm gonna select on Cardano because I'm sending Cardano and I'm gonna do, let's just do $2.25 uh, worth of Cardano, click continue. No, I'm not sending to a friend. And then I'm gonna select the QR code. It then selects that, but as always, as I always tell you, double and triple check your address because once you send it, um, it's sent and you can never you know, reverse that transaction. So double and triple check and make sure that that address is correct. Um, I can see the first string of characters are correct there. And then let's look at the end. Yep, everything is correct there. Uh, so then let's go ahead and uh, preview send. So I can see that I'm sending 1.053864 ADA on over to that particular wallet here. So then let's go ahead and of course there's a network fee as you can see. Um, and then let's send it now. All right, and then I'm gonna get a seven digit code. Go ahead and put that in submit for security purposes. Successfully sent, so it's done. And then let's go on over and let's see what happens when it comes. So we're gonna find out uh, when it comes here. I'll give it a couple minutes. All right, so all I did was click refresh and within about, you know, basically 20 seconds, that, that's how quick it was. Uh, in, instantly shows me that uh, under account one, uh, the wallet has available 1.053864 uh, Cardano. Um, and it's showing that uh, it's in account number one, uh, not in account number two, because I did not activate that. It is in uh, this account number one here. So um, as you can see, it is very easy to send Cardano onto the ADA wallet or ADA Lite wallet, I should say. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to help you out uh, with any questions you might have because, you know, like, you know, making sure you have uh, those error messages not popping up, making sure the proper app is open, folder, as Ledger calls them, or I call them folders, Ledger calls them apps. But anyways, make sure uh, that you're you're doing everything right. Double and triple check your ad addresses as always. And, and guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any other questions, like I said, leave them below. Um, and, and subscribe to the channel because it helps grow uh, this channel and, and allows me to provide more helpful information to you going forward in the crypto space. Make sure to like this video. That puts it out to more, more audience members like yourself. And uh, as always, guys, have an awesome day and uh, be blessed.